Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Ryan 7282 back again with another storyline episode. But before we start, what? I wanted to shout out my boy, the boy Jay. He has been making some banging videos. I just discovered him, and you know, they're so funny, and I could just couldn't go without shouting him out because he's so underrated. Like, I don't know. He, his videos are just so funny and underrated so what you should do to his channel is go like all of these videos subscribe and watch them all don't just be there for liking and subscribing watch them all and comment because i'm telling you if you like my content then you love his because his is just amazing it's funny he plays career mode but he makes it he makes it so interesting and it's realistic everything so I would think you should just go to his channel, like, comment, subscribe. It's the boy J. That's his channel name. I'll link it in the description. Did you see that Wait, did like, you guys look, see that look. Just go to all of the videos and do that and for me, did. please. My, Let's my, go. My Here we are at Los Santos Customs. We have to get our car fixed after what those guys did. I think they were Tottenham fans and if you don't remember this is basically what they did they went around my car and they just trashed it because i think i i had an, a phenomenal game against tottenham we, but guys this really sucked they were they were really hitting my car and it, it was just so bad like it's just a game man these guys deserve to be arrested arrested or something and then they fled the scene but anyway after we fixed it we were just heading to our manager's office because they wanted to discuss a new contract and guys let's just say we got a bargain we weren't even here with our agent we were just here with a friend but we were still able to get a bargain 350k a week from 78,000 a week wow that's so much more money that that means i almost her i earn like a quarter of a million every week so that means every month i earn at least a million just from the club not even my sponsorships and stuff and we got a one million bonus um i think that's a really good bargain bargain and i'm happy with that but we are gonna probably do very well in this game we're playing against city it needs to be a dub for us we really need to keep our form going last game last time we played tottenham and we clapped them and now we have to play city and try clap them as here on the attack we have tejari with the signature run no one is going to be catching up to him he sees his teammate in the box will he pass it to him no of course not he's gonna shoot and you know your boy Tejari is going to score from that angle. Very selfish, but it doesn't matter. It leads into a goal. And Arsenal are in the lead in this game. Man City were torn apart by Tejari's gunshot of a pace. Look at, and he just caressed it into the bottom left with the inside of his foot. Put his lace through it actually. And. You know they weren't going to be able to save that. Um, they are already down as here. In the 12th minute they have another chance. But we are able to clear. And we can go on another counter attack. It's a 2v2. Where will Tejai put it? He puts it into Oscar. Some great play. He also it back. It's a straight ball into Tejai. Can he score? How has Edison saved that? Oh my gosh, all Tejari needed to do is slot it away and you know your boy Tejari is the person that you'd want best on that type of opportunity. But we live on as we are using our pace again. We've just been running so hard this game. We put it in to Edward but his header is wide but we're doing quite well before Richarlison who had that um graphic where it was saying he had his best campaign scores again and this celebration to our fans just it's probably just gonna piss people off like 
I know I used to have Santiago doing that. That thing is funny though. The way they do it, head, head, ah, oh, that's that's funny though. But yeah, they have another chance. Then no, um, caught it, and we could go on the counter attack. We had three minutes of added time. Some a great one too with Oscar. We see Saka, and we play him in. Saka is going to play it back and cut it back to Tejari. Tejari, can he score? What a goal by your boy, Tejari Kabai. But as I'm speaking, Phil Foden equalizes. Very tight game in London. This was in the second half. As soon as it started, Phil Foden came on, I think, as a substitute. And he scored. Yep, it was unlucky. Got into the right position at the right time. And, you know, Man City... Well, they were, they were level and we can't do anything about it. So, we just need to push on to get that winning goal or at least take the lead once again. But in the 90th minute, it was looking like it was going to be a draw. But they scored. Rodrigo with the goal. I mean, it's unlucky. We were the better team. But City, with their chances, you know, they finitoed them. They just finished all of their chances. They took them. And we end up losing. It's not our fault, guys. We did well. We did everything we could. But this game was just not meant to be for us. But that's not what Tejari was thinking in his head. He needed something to cool him down. He was very sad, as you saw in that cutscene at the end of the game. And he was doing something. Let's say he'll regret. He was taking a bomb. This is not what you need to do. Oh, that's so bad. You shouldn't... Oh, that's... No, you shouldn't be doing that. Tejari needs to know better. Hi, that's just bad. But anyway, the next day, we went... We played some tennis with a friend. And it was quite nice, you know. Just catching up with him. We haven't played in such a long time. So... We really needed to just catch up. We needed something to take a break from that city loss. Especially that we had the Carabao Cup set quarter final, sorry, coming soon. So we needed to keep active even on these just international break days. And you know it was nice. So here yeah, guys we had to take a taxi because we had taken our car to get service quick. Because it was like that due time of the month before. Guys, we had to get into the Bournemouth game. So, guys, we left the house. We went to get our Lamborghini. And we were about to just dip to the game versus Bournemouth. A must-win game. And since it's the semi-final and we're looking for the treble in the Premier League. I don't think Arsenal have ever done it so... You know, this is an important cup, even though people say it's like the kids' cup. Well, we are looking to win this game up against Bournemouth and win it in style. We, the last time we played them, we smashed them. You guys were even saying things like, um, they, you guys were even saying things like, they, I'm playing on amateur. But I'm um, actually, no, I'm playing on ultimate. It's just that Tejari has um, improved so much. He's at 90. Three, if I'm not mistaken, he's just an amazing player right now. But anyway, getting into this game versus Bournemouth, Mikel Arteta is not bearing down. He's playing the first team for this game. We're going all out. And that's, you know what we like. We need to win this game. As they're going in with their strongest team, they also want to win. But to be honest, as Bournemouth, it's an achievement getting to the quarterfinals of such a competition. And, you know, Arsenal is about to end that run today. 
because we are the gunners and we are just about to shoot them out of this tournament okay that was a bad pun but either way we are going to go all out go for the win in this game as we start with quite a strong lineup but we do have some rotations you know because even though we need to in this game we have a lot of young players progressing through the ranks so we need to give them some game time but you know our front four kind of stays the same with oscar edward saka and your boy so the game had started it was your boy tejari he cut it back he was going to go for the finish shot yeah could he score it was just over the bar very unlucky by the boy as here we were on another chance progressing through the midfield some great a great run and a great one too and now he had a chance he was going to be able to put it into the box and your boy Bakayo Saka got the goal to make it 1-0 in this game and guys it was just an amazing goal well crafted by Tejari with that 1-2 and then to just find Saka no one was expecting it the keeper did not even move and you know Saka was obviously gonna score that and make it 1-0 to us as here we had another chance it was your boy Tejari he was gonna be able to pass it back in to Fabinho and it was a skip by Tejari and left it for Oscar who scored such an amazing goal that was so smart by Tejari I didn't even I didn't I didn't even expect it because I'm recording this um, a long time since I recorded like the games and look at that by Tejari that skip is just superb man oh my oh that's that that skip that skip is a thing of beauty and now in the 30th minute Tejari will be running through the gap can he score What a goal by your boy. It's 3-0 in the first half. It's over for Bournemouth. But the second half began and, you know, they tried to get something out of the game. At least a goal. And here, it was crossed in. But I cut it out. I think it was a save. I think it was just an editing corruption error. But in the 51st minute, we played out wide to Saka over the top. He puts it into Oscar and what great play by the team. A triangular shape play over the top to Saka. Saka into Oscar and Oscar with his right foot is going to finish that volley. Even though he's doing some other type of cringe celebrations. It does not matter. We are winning 4-0 in this match. Look at the volley by Oscar. That is so amazing. I see Jerry here. Could he make it 5 he was going to chip. It would be saved. And then it was blocked off the line by the defender. Before your boy Kabai got subbed in the 84th minute. Got an ovation even by the Bournemouth fans. They saw his class out today. And then the game was finished. We had won the game by three goals to nil. Another thrashing of Bournemouth. So guys getting home we had to shower guys tomorrow was the day so we were basically at like a hotel so we are taking a shower because of the international break guys we are proposing to our girlfriend tomorrow big day in your boy tjari's life bigger than the world cup final but it, it's it's gonna be a very special moment he was quite nervous so he took a long shower thinking about it but guys it was time and it was the day they were at the beach they arrived and you guys see Tejari was just in some normal clothes but he was ready he was ready to pronounce her 
and him, man and wife. He got into his suit and he was feeling the nervousness, but he knew that it was the time, time to become a man and propose. As he walked down the stairs, he went. She was so very surprised. But guess what, guys? Tejari talked to her. They had a conversation. He went on his knees. And guess what, guys? She said, yes, we are getting married. Your boy Tejari is going to have a wife. Guys, this is just an amazing episode and probably one of the best of his life. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, check out your boy Jay's channel.